Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost, everyone. Today, we're going to try out different anti-static powders with embossing and see which one we think works the best. I hope you'll stay tuned. One of my viewers sent me two cards, well, one for me and one for Rich. My friend Kath from uh, England sent me this one. I love the, the coloring on this. I'm not sure. It looks like colored pencils and then the glitter paper, really pretty. And then Rich's card, because Rich is having his hip replaced. Look how she did the stitching for the R. It's just so beautiful. And then little tools and a car on the left. And then um, inside, wishing you speed recovery. And look how she did the cut paper in the inside. I think that's really pretty. Reminds me of those old greeting cards you used to get when you were little kids. Hold on. Like our parents would get at Christmas time with this piece on the inside. Really pretty. And then um, she did the same with mine and then for Halloween. Because she knows I'm a Halloween fan. So thank you, Kath, for those. So what we're going to be doing, uh, one of my viewers asked me, since I got the Brutus Monroe pouch, which is this one, do I love it more than the others? Does it work better? So I'm going to put these where they are supposed to go. I um, started embossing with my own homemade embossing pouch, and in it is cornstarch. Now you can put baby powder. And in fact, I think the ZK Success one is baby powder because at least it smells like baby powder. It's the only one that's like a brush and you can see it's shooting powder everywhere. But anyway, um, it smells like baby powder. Uh, mine has no scent. The Brutus Monroe, no scent. And the Recollections, no scent. So of all of them, I think this is the only one that really is baby powder. But anyway... I promised one of my viewers that I would um, use all of the different um, embossing anti-static pouches that I have and we'd see which one works the best. I'm using Recollections 110 pound heavyweight cardstock for this project and I'm going to do it on white paper and black paper. Both are Recollections heavyweight and I thought what I would do is I would use the um, black Okay, so on the white piece of paper, we're going to use black um, black detail. This is from Sparkle and Sprinkle. It's a nice um, embossing powder. And I'm going to use, this is my homemade pouch that I made with cornstarch. And uh, I wrapped the cornstarch in uh, doubled over knee high, and then I knotted it and just tied it off. So it's just very simple. This is the Brutus Monroe pouch, and I'm just going to put it right there. Then this is an EK tool. Uh, I don't know if you, it used to be that um, Jennifer McGuire used to use this. This is the only one of the four of them that smells, and it smells like baby powder to me. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it smells like baby powder. And then this is Recollections, and it's just a pouch like the other ones. Okay, so I have this stamp that's uh, from Brutus Monroe. That's um, it's it's the stamp is called Just Bite Me or Bite Me. It's a candy corn that's a vampire. Making sure that it's really well inked and I'm just going to do each one of these and then after I do two I'm going to put embossing powder on so that we doesn't look like what I cheated I just want to make sure that None of them have a chance to dry out. Now, when I did the Brutus Monroe tour, they told me that their embossing powders and their inks will work much longer, will stay wet much longer than the other brands. It went a little crooked. Okay, 
Now I'm just going to close up my embossing ink. Ooh, come back here. And we'll just make sure they're all covered. Moving them around, making sure everybody's got some ink on them. Okay, and I think I must have pushed harder or something on the Recollections one than I did with the others. And then I tapped them off just to make sure that none of them had too much ink on it. The Recollections one, I'm not sure what happened with my stamping because it looks like it just looks really odd. I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to stamp it in a different place so that we feel like we have a, a fair um, that it's a fair test. Because something's weird about that one. I don't know what happened there. That's better. I don't know what happened the first time. I have issues. You know that. First thing we're going to do is heat up our tool. And to be fair, I'm going to start heating all of them from the bottom. Okay, so let's see. Now on this one, it looks like I don't know if that's a problem, but when I did this before, it almost seemed like the EK, this one, it almost was like it it splattered. It, it was like the, um, the powder, once it was heat setting, it was blowing off the paper, and that's why I was getting these little marks around. And I tried it before, and it was worse the first time, so I decided that I must have done something wrong, so I started all over again. I'm not sure if it is um, pushing the, the um, powder off, but that's what it seemed like. That's why I started heating it from the bottom, so that hopefully that would avoid that, but it didn't. Now this one, you're probably going to say, well, it has this problem and this problem, but those were those hairs that were in there before the powder. I don't, they were in my embossing powder. So that's really not a fair test. The Brutus Monroe one looks pretty good and um, so does the homemade one. They both all have this one little dot when I inked it. It must have had something so that it would show up because three of the four have a dot right in that same spot. Isn't that weird? This one does not have that dot. Anyway, so I, at this point, the only one I don't think works well is this one. So let's try black with white. And my um, white paint pen died on me. And so, oh, anyway, I'm just saying, it's a mess. So I'm going to take my, this one. This is the homemade one. I'm not getting a lot out of it. So I want to make sure you can see it on there. Then, Recollections. Somebody asked me about the dust that these create. What I noticed was, although the EK doesn't seem like it puts off dust, I can really smell this when I use it. So I'm not sure why that is. And then this one does seem like it puts off more dust. And let me find my Brutus Monroe one. Where did it go? Now this one seems to put out like more of a, a visible substance and than the other three. I don't know. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. Okay, let's stamp them up and see what we got this time. The first thing I noticed about the white is that I'm getting a lot more see on the sides here. Let me flick it off and see if I can flick off that excess. Okay, let's heat her up and see how we do. It doesn't seem like I have too many crumbs on any of them though, so that's good. So it's my fault that I didn't do white, but um, 
you can really see these and it doesn't look like I had any issues. I don't think I heated, heated the top of this one really well. Let me finish that one. Didn't have enough powder, so that could be a problem with that one. I didn't. It didn't seem like I got enough powder right there. You see that spot right there? And the rest of them all look really good. I decided to try it with white, and this time I used Nouveau Fine Detail White. And I um, first started trying to write with my paint pen, and it had a little issue all over, got it on my counter, got, uh, anyway, it was one of those moments. So I went to uh, gel pens, and three gel pens later, I actually got the words written on there. So, uh, with that being said, let me tell you what I found. I wiped off all of the powder after I was done, so you didn't get confused about what was the leftover powder and what was the um, actual um, image. So what I found was the EK bottle did really badly. It had, um, it left crumbs all around the edges. If you can see that, hopefully you can right there. It didn't do a very good job. Now this is supposed to be fine detail. So if it's fine detail, you wouldn't expect it to fill in around the teeth. Look at the difference between my homemade around the teeth and the EK around the teeth. Not a good plan. Um, and up here it didn't completely fill in and then as I said around the edges it added a lot Then let's go to my homemade the homemade had a few little spots here and there you can see them right in here This is why I've always struggled with using white on black or black on white as I always struggle with having these little pieces that I don't see until I heat them and um, That's frustrating anyway back to the recollections it did a good job with fine cleaning lines down here but then when it came to this area the lines aren't really well defined and i have a lot of little specks i don't know if you can see those little specks all around this side um i did try and clean them off you know i did go around and look to see do i have any little spots of white anywhere and then there's some little spots right in here that you can see the Brutus Monroe, uh, this line isn't as clean as I'd want it to be, and the teeth aren't as clean as I'd want them to be. Around his head isn't as great as I'd want them to be, and around the bottom isn't perfect. Honestly, um, I don't see any of them doing a spectacular job on white, with white on black. This has always been my issue. It continues to be my issue. As I said, I used the Brutus Monroe embossing ink, and the people at Brutus Monroe told me if I use this with their um, um, embossing powder, I would have a good result. Well, I couldn't. I have their white embossing powder. Could I find it? No, I couldn't find it. That is the end result. Is this? If I was going to tell you what to do, I would tell you to figure out a way to use the color powder, or excuse me, the color ink that you want. Like I would use a black ink and clear embossing powder because then you won't have any risk of having these little spots that you can see. And um, with the white on black, I don't know what the answer is. If any of you have advice, I know you're going to tell me to use the... Um, other embossing ink. Let's try that just so we're sure we have that too. Okay, I've done these with Versamark because that is the standard that everyone uses and they think that that's the greatest. So I haven't tapped it off yet and I'll go over what's what in a second. First off, on the, this is Recollections right here. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a lot of crumbs right in there and right outside that area. And then right around the top of his point of his head. And then on the Brutus Monroe, there's a lot around this edge and then inside that one his little wing. 
and then on this side same thing a lot around the outside of the wing and down in there and then a little bit right there and a little inside there a little around his point on his head Okay, then let's go to the EK Success one. Around the bottom, right there. And then with my homemade one. Huh, all of, the, all of them, the homemade one doesn't seem to have much to clean. Oops, that wasn't something that needed to be cleaned. Okay, well, let's heat them up. I'm going to have Rich either fast forward or cut this part out because I'm sure you don't really want to see me heat set them. Okay, so here's where we stand. Um, this little spot was where I um, moved or tried to take off a piece, so it looks like I moved that little spot into that. And then there's a little spot right there. Otherwise, that one looks pretty good. Now, here's back to the problem. If you remember, this was really, I thought it was really clean. But now, look at all the spots that are showing up in here. They're teeny tiny, but look, right there, there, inside, and underneath, and outside that wing, and all around and inside his head. I swear that he was clean. And it seems like this is the one that once you heat it, it starts to blow the, the powder around for whatever reason and then heats it. So I absolutely hate that one, that EK. I don't know why I can't get it to work right. The Recollections, this is a Recollection one, it has a couple little spots up here in the head, a little spot right there. Down here that's my fault because as you saw I wiped it with my um, brush. There's another little spot right there. The Brutus Monroe, I'm going to get the excess powder off there. Right in here, you can see I have some, and there is some. The wing is still not clean, but that, again, that was me trying to clean it, but it shouldn't have had all that excess because it is a fine detail. It should have just done the line and not had all that, I don't know. Anyway, there's more down in here and right there. The Recollections and my homemade seem to be the best. I'm going to leave that up to you to decide, but... Um, I wanted to make sure that you um, saw it and could decide, <clears throat> excuse me, could decide for yourself what which one you think works best. Let me do one more thing because I did have a viewer that asked me about how much dust do these put off. And the best way to do it is to kind of, I'm going to do it on this side that you can't really see much on. But if you do it on black, you should be able to see the dust. This is the Recollections, and I'm going to really pound these so you can hopefully see if any dust comes off. Can you see any dust? I mean, in the air? I don't know. Okay, then this is the Bruce Monroe. That one I, did, I do see dust coming off of. Can you see the dust? Right on this side. Watch that side. You see dust. I'm going to do this one again and see if I can get it to do that. Not so much. <clears throat> Let's see, the EK, I know this one doesn't put off dust because it's so hard to get anything out of it. Okay, maybe it does put off dust. Let me see if I can get it to come out. I'll get my hand out of the way so you can hopefully see it. You definitely can smell this one from as far away as my head is. I can smell it right after I start using it, so I'm not exactly sure if that's um, dust, but let me dump this off so I don't have all this other stuff creating more dust. Let me try that one more time to see if we get any dust out of it. Yeah, the dust now is on this one. It's coming off to the right, if you can see that. Um, it doesn't put off a ton of dust, but it does put off dust. And lastly is my homemade one. Let's see. I got a lot out, but I don't know if I can see any powder or dust coming off of it. 
I, no, I don't know. You can decide for yourself if you saw dust coming off of that. I didn't see dust, but I don't know. And I'm not going to be the judge of that one because I clearly can't see it well enough. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this, that you got an idea of which one of these uh, brands that you'd like to try, that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.